Hey everybody, what's going on? Bird Boy here with a video about one of the most abundant birds of North America, the Morning Dove. I'm pretty sure several people have seen and heard this bird multiple times daily, but aren't quite sure what it is. If you aren't, I'm here to talk to you about it, so let's jump right in. The Morning Dove, also known as the Rain Dove or the Turtle Dove, is a species of dove in the family Columbidae, which also includes pigeons. It is found year-round in most of the United States and Mexico. It travels to Canada during the summer and parts of Central America during the winter. Birds that reside in the north start migrating in the spring from March to May, and birds that reside in the south start migrating in the fall from September to November. It travels in flocks during the day at low altitudes. The morning dove is a medium-sized bird that can reach up to a foot in length and 4 to 6 ounces in weight. Its wingspan is 37 to 45 centimeters across. The male is distinguished by his iridescent pink patches on the sides of his neck. He is also a tad bit larger than the female. Other than those two differences, the male and female are identical to each other. They both have a round head, a short black beak, black eyes with bluish colored eye rings, wide wings, a long tail, and short pink legs. The morning dove sports a plumage of grayish brown on its back and wings, which have black spots. This contrasts from the head, chest, and belly, which are tan. It has black and gray inner tail feathers and white outer tail feathers. When it makes its low morning call, hence the name, the morning dove is often mistaken for an owl. This is because the coo song it makes, which sounds like this, sounds like the hoot noise that some owls make. Another noticeable noise is the very loud whistle that the wings make when the morning dove takes to the sky. The morning dove prefers to live in open areas, such as prairies and grasslands, or semi-open areas, such as small wooded areas and cities. It often avoids swampy or thick forested areas. The morning dove doesn't search or dig for its food, but rather walks on the ground and pecks at anything visible that looks edible. 99% of its diet is seeds, while the other 1% is made up of insects, snails, or earthworms. When it's having trouble digesting food, the morning dove will eat sand and gravel to help with digestion. During courtship, the male flies high up into a circular glide with his wings whistling and spread apart. After descending, he approaches the female, puffs out his chest, and coos. If courtship succeeds, the male will lead the female to a couple of potential nest sites he found and allow her to choose one. Once she picks, nest construction begins. The male flies around and brings building materials to the female while she builds the nest, which is usually in a tree or shrub lower than 40 feet off the ground. However, if none of these sites are suitable, the morning dove will nest on the ground. The nest itself is a flimsy platform of small twigs, pine needles, and grass blades. The morning dove lays two white eggs per brood and can lay up to six broods per year. For two weeks, the male incubates the eggs during the morning and afternoon, while the female incubates the eggs during the evening and night. Once the eggs hatch, the young are never left unattended. One parent is always eating seeds that will be digested and transformed into crop milk, which is fed to the squabs for the first three or four days. The young usually fledge when they're two weeks old, but often hang around for another two weeks. With an incredibly large population of hundreds of millions of birds, the morning dove is given the ranking of least concern. Although the population is increasing, the morning dove is a very popular game bird, with 20 million birds getting shot by hunters each year. If you want to attract morning doves to your yard, serve some of their favorite foods, such as millet, milo, sunflower seeds, shelled peanuts, and cracked corn. They prefer to eat off of the ground, but they will also use a platform feeder, as long as it's stable and has enough room for it to perch and move around.